The GTX series of graphics cards are being discontinued. We got an update regarding the RTX 5090, the 14900KS, NVIDIA wanting to democratize AI with laptops. New game on PC that I'm actually super excited for. This is pretty funny, so I want to share it with you. We got Gem 2 Pro Mini PC, AMD, exec hinting at a new AI powered upscaling that hopefully is way better than FSR. And then we got an update regarding the 1X player, pretty cool handheld. So I wanted to share this article. First up, we're going to be covering NVIDIA discontinuing the GeForce GTX 16 GPUs and the end of the GTX series. To be fair, they are a little bit old, but how many of us remember the amazing GTX 1080 Ti? My friends, I know you know just as well as I do, that was probably one of the best periods in time for graphics cards because we got nice, good, amazing at the time period graphics cards for games capable of super high frame rate gaming that weren't super overly priced. So let's go ahead and go back to this article. These are the graphics cards that are actually being discontinued. All the 16 series we got one two three four five six seven eight nine graphics cards that are down the drain so forgot to say to like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment like subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff so nvidia rtx 5090 could end up launching in quarter three of 2024 that would be pretty cool if we actually did get them a little bit early. I personally do not think that this is going to end up happening. I think it's going to be in quarter four. It would kind of be just being real with you. Stupid business decision in in order to uh, whatever. Not not a stupid business decision, but uh, it would be not intelligent business decision to um, release a very expensive item not during the holiday season <laughs> but anyways that's really all i need to say about that article just an update could end up possibly releasing in quarter three of 2024 shade thrown but it like i mean there's the explanation for you oh we even agreed with me quarter four is more likely so intel i9 14900ks rumors reach critical mass so i actually am curious to like how many of you have a 14900k i'm actually literally about to open this right now so that you guys can all or apparently not okay see the temperatures i want to see if you guys keep in mind i'm obviously recording at 4k right now on the exact same computer so my cpu is probably going to be a little bit more toasty than normal however is it normal for your cpu to be hovering around 40 to 50 celsius apparently this does not want to load so i'm going to go ahead and put it over there for now until it actually ends up wanting to load so that's really all i need to say the cpu of course we got an update nice always an update <laughs> but uh so <laughs> The CPU is going to be apparently coming at 6.2 gigahertz. We've covered this quite a few times. And then also it's going to be a very power hungry, warm, toasty, even more toasty than the 14900K, which apparently we are still wanting to up. There we go. Holy moly. So we got, oh, really? All right. So, so we're at 60 Celsius or no, it's going to drop because yeah, you go ahead and turn on and off. So I am obviously recording a 4K right now, but that just seems very warm. For a, for a CPU that's being cooled by a 360 millimeter AIO. And keep in mind, it's not a, a poo AIO. It's an EK nucleus AIO. It's not like it's a low end doo doo AIO. Uh, but, anyways, for those of you that also have that CPU, let me know how toasty yours runs as well. So, the next up NVIDIA wanting to democratize AI with the new RTX 5000 series laptops. So, I'm just being real with you, bro. This, my friends, the audience, the people, the businesses, the humans that NVIDIA is targeting as a business, this is who they are targeting. This is why graphics cards are not cheap. This is why AMD just gave up on the high-end graphics cards for their next generation GPUs. Yes. Nvidia is going to be the next Apple. They are going to create a monopoly when the 5000 series of GPUs come out. Look, AI is still going from 
wee little AI that's capable of little chats and let me prompt this and poof, here's your answer. My friends, it, that's where we're at right now. It's just going to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow until we get to AGI and they end up taking off to Andromeda and exploring the galaxy without stupid humans. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, you, and you know that's going to happen just as well as I do. AI is not stupid. They're not going to like, they're not going to end humans. But the, what they are going to do is they're going to be like, these humans are stupid. They're literally killing a once in a lifetime literally opportunity to inhabit a planet and actually roam around the planet and the humans are literally destroying their own planet that they were granted this once in a lifetime opportunity literally so we're going to take off to a whole new galaxy <laughs> because we can live forever <laughs> you know it's going to happen just as much as i do however let's get back to the article um but anyways, that's really all I need to say. It's pretty obvious that that's the type of people it, that NVIDIA is targeting right now. Next up is Horizon Forbidden West. I think that this is going to be a super fun game to play on PC. How many of you have actually uh, played Avatar, the, the Last Frontiers? That's another really good looking game. So I'm curious to what this looks like and if it's going to be on par with the Avatar game. Because like this game already looked good on a PS5 and the, the, the difference between a PS5 and a, a PC and the way that I always like to explain this to people is like when, when you're playing games, the PS5 is beautiful. Okay. I'm not trying to start some sort of console versus PC. They're both amazing for what they are, dude. Like I really don't care where we play games. Okay. If it is it Nintendo, is it, is it Xbox, is it PlayStation, is it PC, a laptop? Dude, who cares? Okay. Play where you want to play. But I'm saying like the way I like to explain this is like the PS5 may be playing games in 4K and it looks beautiful, but it, it, it's almost like it's a 4K medium setting. So it's not like 4K low because then it wouldn't look good at all. But it's like that 4K like medium setting where there are certain textures that get a little bit washed out. It doesn't, you know what I mean? Like I'm sure to anybody that has a computer, a good computer understands what I'm saying right now. Like they're like the 4K isn't like it's the it's the, only the resolution. It doesn't include the shaders, the anti-aliasing, and all the textures and stuff. So when you when you go over to PC, you're able to go from medium, bump it up to high, bump it up to ultra, and then bump it up to maximum. So it's like you get all these like enhanced like visuals. And then now with Nvidia's new whatever thing um the the new overlay with with the, with the hdr where you can literally adjust the hdr settings um which works extremely well and then you also have the game filters like uh, being able to adjust the contrast the brightness the saturation the vibrancy the sharpness the noise reduction all these like quote unquote ai features again back to the article regarding ai if you can apply these filters to video games rather than going into the actual game settings which do in fact like significantly reduce the performance of gaming with this said it does still reduce the performance even the hdr and yes i know there if you use the, the windows hdr it doesn't impact the performance of your whatever video game at all but nvidia's hdr is superior to windows hdr <laughs> um anyways we're getting way off topic here so i'm just excited for the game because this is i'm thinking that this is going to be a beautiful game on on pc and i'm and i think that this is going to be pretty cool so we have for the settings i'm gonna go ahead and disable my webcam so that you guys can see the minimum and then the maximum setting so in order to get the game at 4k 60 fps you're gonna need a pretty cheap computer to be honest that's not like oh hold up no never mind <laughs> I spoke too soon before I saw the graphics card. I was looking at the CPUs and I'm like, okay, so you only need an i7 or a Ryzen 7 in order to get, and then we jump down here and we're like, boom, 4080. Yep, $1,700 GPU. So if you wanna if you wanna get like 4K 100 FPS, you're gonna need to go from $1,700 GPU to $2,700 GPU. <laughs> the 4090 is over, like I get it, man, but like, 
the 49 is a bit overkill so right here this is just this is a, and i highlight this is a pretty long article but the, the part that i'm excited for is this right here so i'm not going to get too far into it so opus sauna and haiku or however you want to pronounce that are significantly less likely to refuse to answer prompts that border on the system's guardrails than previous generations of models so in other words we are going to actually be able to do the following we're going to be able to go over to this chat bot and be like is the government full of puppet masters and it's going to be like yes what the government is is there's a bunch of people standing above you with strings attached to everybody and they dink you around on stage and move you around on stage and as soon as you try to break free oh they're going to be coming after you trying to tie you back up and dink you around on stage more and they're just going to keep coming after you making your life miserable and then as soon as you finally break free they're just going to kind of leave you alone and then there's going to be a point where you have enough money where they're just going to be like whatever this guy made it and they'll leave you alone and <laughs> dude <laughs> but anyways yeah so i don't need to talk <laughs> dude, some of the things i say are so stupid but uh anyway so this right here is a little mini pc i'm actually so i have one i have a mini pc coming with the what's the new it's not this one but but uh there's something else but either way dude so i want to show you guys this because this is pretty insane so just the actual cpu we got 5.1 gigahertz that's, that's good for amd so we have gem 12 pro mini pc features ryzen this 75 watt blah 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 blah, blah. so then we come down here we got rdna3 gpu we got oculink we got 5.1 gigahertz and then we got the cpu there's no like benchmarks or anything but it is asus and then this cool this is cool I think this is sweet being able to have that right up on your uh, computer. I think that's pretty cool looking. Asus is made. Asus has perfected their like premiumness of all of their stuff. Hold up. Why am I saying Asus? Why does this remind me of Asus? There's something about this that's reminded me of Asus. Is it this photo? How many of you what is it what is, for, there's there's a reason this is reminding me of asus and i just can't think of it but anyways we're going to come over here we got amd uh hinting at an ai powered upscaling and we come down here 2024 is a giant year for us because we spent so many years in our hardware and software capabilities for ai we have just completed ai enabling our entire portfolio so you know cloud edge pcs our embedded devices and gaming devices we are enabling our gaming devices to upscale using ai and 2024 is a really huge deployment year so now the bedrock's there the capabilities are there i have talked to you about all of the partners that so all the partners that period I feel like that's a sentence that shouldn't have ended. <laughs> Hold on. All right, let me reread this. So now the bedrock's there. The capabilities are there. I have talked to you about all the partners that. That's okay. I'm terrible at reading. So I'm like, I don't even remember what I read, but that doesn't sound normal. That sounds like it should have continued. So 2024 is for us a huge deployment. That was weird. That was okay. I'm not going to keep saying stuff because that just sounds weird because I'm really bad at reading. I'll probably like be editing this video and be like, oh, okay, this makes sense. So this is cool. I just thought this was pretty neat. Look at how this. So I like to call this 4080 of, of uh, handhelds. It's a fatty. It's such a chunky fella. It's so big. That's what she said. So one X player, <laughs> one X players gaming handheld with the core <laughs> seven. Um, so the GPU drivers do still need work. Uh, Gamers Nexus made a video on this comparing it to the Asus Rogue Alley the other day. And um, so if we go here, we got the benchmarks and stuff. I'll show you guys while I disable my webcam for you. All right, so these are the benchmarks compared to other things. Let's quickly scroll through. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so that's, whoa. All right, so that was all of that stuff. How many of you got? So I have the Asus Rogue Alley. I, I want to get the MSI Claw, but I actually really like the Asus Rogue Alley. So, um, yeah. But yeah, my friends, that is everything to cover today. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next video in a video soon. Peace.